What's up, YouTube? This Rose go back again with another video. Now check it out. Shout out to King AK47's channel and Seti Nash channel. You know what I'm saying? They are all over this Migo, or should I just say, rest in peace to take off. They are all over this takeoff situation, people. And you know what? They are good at what they do. But guess what? My ass still confused. Message get to this. Still confused, man. But I'm going to run down. I'm going to run down some stuff. But but I'm still kind of confused, people. So, some weeks ago, I made a video about the parents fighting over Takeoff's money. And I was like, is this justice for Takeoff or over some damn money? This is when he first died. Now, it's coming out, people, that they are in court now over his estate. They didn't took, they, they didn't took it up. They didn't stepped it up. They said, uh-uh. I want some, too. So again, I'll ask, is this supposed to be justice for takeoff or justice for this or, or, or justice for takeoff's money? They trying to take off with takeoff's money, man. Damn. So Miko Bands confess, and like I said, shout out to AK47 and 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 Seti Nash, because this information came from them as far as what I'm about to get into now. So Miko Bands confessed to shooting in takeoff case four weeks ago. All right, four weeks ago, his name is Willie something. Willie Bands or something. I don't know. His name Willie. His first damn name, Willie. So he was in the paperwork. All right. Now, Miko Bands confessed to shooting in takeoff case. He was shooting. He admitted to that. But he was shooting where? Inside. And we see that. He was shooting inside of the bowling alley. Somebody ran in that bowling alley. All right. But they said his his shots went in the bowling alley, but it didn't hurt nobody. All right, so he he might be off the case on that. All right, as far as that now, DJ Pat shot off his weapon, as we all know. Uh, shot weapon runs to House of Blues where the bottle was. I'm confused about that. So that's how they got the the, the prints on the bottle, cause I guess he left the bottle behind at House of Blues. This is crazy. Um, th 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 that's the question mark on that shit. Uh, warrant to look in his truck for possible evidence. They they got that going on. They trying to look in there for evidence. But from what they were I think they just as confused. And when I say they, I'm talking about the laws. I think they just as confused. Because first they say, yeah, he's been charged with the M. The big M for takeoff, right? So you would assume, well, one, like myself, would assume that you have everything you need. So now you want more evidence, you're going to go in the man truck. Okay, do what you will. Now, Lil' Cam had his gun out. We know Lil' Cam had a weapon because even if we, if, even if we didn't see it on camera, the police said they did allegedly okay so Migo Bands shots fired in the bowling alley and we know Lil Cam had a gun so Migo Bands had a gun that's my point DJ Pat had a gun uh but do we know anybody else that had a gun I don't know it ain't came out yet so but okay and but Migo Bands did not harm anyone so who is this third shooter I asked that because take off a shot twice and it's seeming like if DJ Pat was shooting towards Takeoff's way, right? And and Migo Bands was shooting in the area of the bowling alley. There's two people shooting. Who was who was Migo Bands shooting at? Because was he a shooter as well? We'll get to that. Let's go. That's where I'm confused at too. So if you really want to go in depth with that, hit up AK47 channel or Seti Nash, okay? Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Migo Bands has been cleared by the law, all right? Because he, he said, yeah, I was a shooter. And this was, uh, what, four weeks ago? So it's safe to say, like, right after, a couple of days after the shoot, uh, after what happened to takeoff, he confessed that I this and that, right? 
but it's on camera, so I mean, why not? Uh, now, who punched Migo Bands from behind? I don't know if that's Migo Bands getting punched behind. AK-47 has a theory of he punched, uh, he got punched. He was the one that got punched, but I, I, I agree that somebody has got punched. I made a video about that. And it's like somebody got knocked out because you can see whoever foot that is. It could be Migo Bands, but whoever foot that is, it turned kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, as if somebody fell. I thought somebody got knocked out to where they lost their balance type thing. All right? So whether they fell or not, for real, I don't know. But I, I, I truly believe somebody was hit. That's when people kept saying that muffle shot. No, I believe somebody got hit. Whether it was with a weapon or they fist. Somebody got hit. Then you heard the gunshots. That's just my opinion. Now, that's what I'm saying. Who punched Migo Bands from behind if that was Migo Bands? And was and, and did that person run into the bowling alley and that made Migo Bands shoot in the bowling alley? It's so it's so complicated, people. Justice for, for takeoff, man. Damn. Now, did Lil' Cam run in the bowling alley? You know what I'm saying? Did he run in the bowling alley? Was he shooting? Because let the lawyer test say it, he was not shooting. So something is just confusing with that, people. Now let's keep going. DJ Pat bullets went towards Lil' Cam. Why did they go towards Lil' Cam? And we know takeoff was right there, so that's why the law said, yeah, it went in his direction. But he was not the intended target. So was Lil' Cam the intended target? Because it looks like Lil' Cam was behind, was the one that did something, touched, he, he either touched him, uh, touched takeoff and made him turn around, or he said something that made him turn around, okay? So that's when I was like, what are you telling him? You better not move or some shit? Because at this particular time, I assume Quavo is, had already ran with his scary ass, okay? Message, he ain't off the hook, message, get to this. Now, like I say, DJ Pat Bullets went towards Lil' Cam. DJ Pat was Migo and Mob Ties Security. Some people will say he was Mob Ties Security. Others will say he was Migo Security. So if he was Migo Security, that changes everything. Even if he was Migo Security slash Mob Ties Security, you know what I'm saying? That's weird. He... F to me, he's got to be either or security. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, why would you have to secure them from people that's there? And I know shit happens just like it did, but I'm just saying, I'm tr trying to make it make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And to whoever watching this, it's like, wouldn't it be more, makes more sense if he was... W Either Migos or either Mob Ties, not both security, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that's telling me somebody that was there, they don't trust. It could have been <laughs> them, them little youngsters. And another thing I want to say is grown folks and youngsters don't mix. Let's do that. Old school and new school these days don't mix, people. Understand? All right? They, 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 hey, they on a whole nother wavelength than we are on, people. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Migo Band had got punched, like I said. Okay, so Migos, Migo Band caught shooting on camera and gave statements to the police and takeoff death. All right, two medium caliber, okay, now this is what the police said they recovered. Two medium caliber bullets shot takeoff. All right, they just letting us know right there that what type of uh bullet so they'll know what type of weapon they looking for you know what i'm saying so it was two medium caliber bullets that were shot off into takeoff may he rest in paradise now at the scene they found nine 40 caliber casings from the same gun they know this came from the same gun them nine 40 caliber casings all right and then they found one single casing from a nine miller miller nine millimeter gun. Okay. Uh, and also, Migo Bands being punched could get him off, but actually, he's already off because the laws have what 
said he is cleared. Now, from what this is looking like, you got two medium caliber bullets shot off into takeoff, but they're not saying what kind of gun it was for one damn thing. Now, to me, it'll look like it's only two shooters because you got a one single casing they found and nine forty calibers that, that, that allegedly came from the same gun. So that's two shooters right there off top. And and like we seen we but we we know three people had weapons. All right, at least three. So did LeCam shoot off something allegedly, man? Look, and that's what I'm saying. This shit's confusing. So DJ Pat had a 45 caliber gun when he was arrested. So yeah, that doesn't match up to. Well, I can't say that because he had a 45 caliber, right? And like they said, they're not saying what kind of gun it was. They just saying two medium caliber bullets that shot take off. You know what I'm saying? All right. And you see DJ Pat is like, hey, man, give me a private investigator because I don't think I did that. Mm, okay. But my thing is, was these two medium caliber bullets shot from take off? The same from the same weapon. See, they ain't saying nothing like that because because the, they basically said, well, they did say that. They're not saying the news channel said they the laws are not saying what type of weapon though. You see what I'm saying? They just saying it was two medium caliber bullets. You feel me? That out of this and that. And when DJ Pat got arrested, he had a 45 caliber gun when he was arrested. Now. DJ, did DJ Pat and Migo Bands try and kill Lil' Cam? Because I'm telling you, this changes a lot. If DJ Pat and Migo Bands are in cahoots, they together. You know what I'm saying? They going for the right cause. What jumped it off? Was it Lil' Cam that jumped that off? Lil' Cam was shooting dice. But we don't see Lil' Cam arguing with Quavo, I don't think. So, see, that's what I'm saying. It's some crazy shit. But Lil' Cam was throwing dice. He was playing dice. Now, DJ Pat accidentally hits takeoff. So, that's the theory, too. I don't know if that's true. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if it's true. Maybe, maybe it is true, but he maybe he didn't hit him twice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what he's saying. I don't know. Uh, maybe because the laws is trying to say that the two fatal shots that got him up out of here came from DJ Pat. So now it's looking like, I don't know if he accidentally hit him or, or, or he meant to hit him. You know what I'm saying? This shit's all fucked up. That's what I'm saying. I'm still confused, people. <laughs> Rest in peace to take off. But I'll tell you what's, what's a sour puss moment. Is when his family is more interested in, in his estate, the money. I know all of that has to be taken care of. But for y'all to be fighting over it, that's ridiculous. He had no will, though. I don't know why he didn't have a will. That's the crazy part. Because you would think he would make a will and just leave everything to his mama if he didn't have any children. You know what I'm saying? That would have been the smart thing to do. Like, if anything ever happened to me, you know what I'm saying? Da da this and that. But he ain't even do that. So that says a lot <laughs> to me about his mama and his daddy message. Because wouldn't you? I w if I'm rich like that, I wouldn't leave my mama hanging if something happened to me. Uh-uh. And if my mama wasn't here, it would go to my oldest, her oldest child, which would be my oldest sister. And if she wasn't here, it would just trigger down. You know what I'm saying? One of my siblings is going to get it. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to spread the love. But it's just the principle, though. He didn't leave it to nobody. I'm just saying, it just makes you think, okay? Message.